Church. Selena and I go way back, way, 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 way back. I've been a fan of Selena ever since I was a little girl and I saw her on Wishes of Waverly Place. I fell in love with her. She was my everything. She was the reason why I made a Twitter account. Speaking of, she follows me on there. How come Selena follows me on Twitter? And you don't follow me. Just kidding. You don't have to. I lost all my juice on Twitter. I got 8,000 followers, which is not a lot, but nobody likes any of my tweets. Back in the day, I would just tweet, I love Selena Gomez, and I had 10 likes. Because I just had the juice back in the day. Even Selena liked one of my tweets. Where? You know? And today we're going to be watching her documentary, My Mind and Me. And I am scared. I'm always scared. I always say that. And I'm definitely going to cry. It's going to be a lot about her mental health issues, which I have too. And about her lupus. Oh, I'm crying already. I'm already emotional. I can feel it. This is not going to be fun. It's going to be tough. It's going to bring back a lot of feelings that I used to have back when I was 11. I adored her. I still do. I think she's an amazing woman. She's so kind. The way she just sits back every time and it's like you know what i'm gonna take the high road when i would be down there crawling in the dirt you know what i'm talking about if you do let's get started mm -hmm. it's like a 13 reasons why episode <laughs> It's just the apple thing. 2019 Paris. Oh, she looks so sad. Or maybe she's just tired. Oh, she looks sad. Oh, she's so beautiful, though. She looks so pretty. I'm emotional already. Let me make a promise. I'll only tell you my darkest secrets. Do I want to know? I don't want to know. December 19th. I have to stop living like this. Is this her diary? Why have I become so far from the light? Oh no, I'm so emotional already. I'm so Everything I ever wished for, I've had and done all of it. But it has killed me. Because there's always Selena. Selena! Selena! There were many Justin Bieber headlines. Selena Gomez, the lead single Good For You, was a critical and commercial star success. recently dubbed the queen of the social networking app. Hello, hello. Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber have finally called it quits again. 2016 and 2017 Selena was just a different level. Her Snapchat era, that was better than King Kylie era. The most followed person on Instagram, she was just that girl. Do we like this? This is filmy. If I was a guy, I could wear jeans and just switch up my t-shirt. This outfit, iconic with the curls and hair. she sang sober. I want to have the body to wear it proudly. And then I want the booty that I don't have. I don't want to be like, oh, wait. She just has them. Making sure less. I look like a woman and not like a 12 year old boy. <laughs> She sang Who Says and then she cried. Anybody else? Told me I wasn't good enough, but who are you to judge? When you're a diamond in the rough, I'm sure you got some things. I wouldn't wanna be anybody else. You've got every right to a beautiful life. Come on. Feel my inner child coming out so bad. And I hate how it opens up. She sang that beautifully. It just sucks. Is she crying? All of it. It looks so bad. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. <gasps> So I get the voice that comes in my head that says that you missed this, that sucked, that sucked. Oh, you get a glimpse of yourself on the screen. Wow, that looks pretty fucking shitty. Like, it sucks yeah. the life out of me and I don't want to perform. The pressure is just overwhelming because I want to do the best I can. I don't want to disappoint John. I don't want him to think that he signed some fucking Disney kid. He called me this morning about the song with Justin and I was like, <laughs> I'm like, when am I gonna just be good enough by myself? Like, when am I gonna be like, song with Justin? When am I gonna be good just by myself, not needing anybody to be associated with? Like, it's. 
That makes me so sad. <laughs> my 11 year old ass was on Twitter. Bro, I fall for her name every day. And it makes me kind of proud of myself. Not to flatter my own ego. God, that is so sad. I mean, I know there were a few songs that she recorded with Justin that were also leaked, but was she supposed to release one? Uh, I mean, obviously. Make money of her relationship. I'm so sorry. Sorry I just like, like I don't want you to ever regret signing me. What? Everything looked so bad. No, you were amazing. I was rocking out to it. It was awesome. Does it feel young? <laughs> I would want nothing more than to not be my past and it comes back. I never thought it was that bad for her. She didn't want people to think of Alex Russo when they saw her. I never had that feeling from Selena. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to not see her as Alex Russo anymore. But it's interesting to see that she felt like they were always throwing her past in her face. <laughs> so sad. Sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize, girl, please. It's too much. <laughs> I want to hug her. She's so beautiful. Look at her. She's so pretty. Teresa. Hey, girl. Oh, I Did love her. I love her curls. Yeah, right this is for your lupus, right? Yep. It's mad to think that she was dealing with lupus already at that time because I think the public only found out about it when she had her kidney transplanted, if I remember that correctly. But it's mad to see her already dealing with it. 109 over 78 is really good. We yeah. have a little gift for you and then we're gonna leave you alone. Uh, <laughs> Can you start with this? Yeah. this don't get me started on this girl. Selena, I love you with all my heart. It's your life, you can do whatever you want, but do not get me started on this girl. She always looks miserable. She this is something we've collected for you, for sure. It's a good luck charm for you, and every show is a different one. That's so Oh my so gosh. Crushing. So look at these. I've been celebrating your birthday every year since I was three. <laughs> I've had bir <laughs> birthday parties, cake, Playlists, everything. They're so sweet. <laughs> She's 20 now. I can bully her now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but like, girl. First of all, since you were three years old, you're celebrating someone else's birthday with cakes? Girl, that's so sad. But you do. Yes, girl. let's do it. Do you. I love her curls. She's so pretty with this hairstyle. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. The amount of times I'm gonna say that. Also, she's so sexy, so I can see how she says she feels like a 12-year-old boy. I always thought she was so sexy. The way she dances, the way she carries herself, is she's so sexy. I remember that. I remember seeing that video. And she cries. I know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She had a drug problem. Parties too much. She's oh, she's addressing it. Is she addressing it? I'm about to go on stage. Wish me luck. Her Snapchat era. Wild. I couldn't handle it. The Lina is now on canceled. break dealing with anxiety, panic attacks, and depression. At one point, she's like, I don't want to be alive. And it was one of those moments where you look in her eyes and there's nothing there. It was just pitch black. And it's so scary. It must be crazy. Seeing. The amount of panic and anxiety I got over these few clips. These people have no sympathy at all. I cannot imagine dealing with a breakup in the public eye and having these questions all thrown into your face about his new girlfriend in general. I can't imagine how she feels performing in front of all of these people who are your fans that you love. And it's a part that makes you happy, but at the same time, it destroys you. That's so fucked up. I cannot imagine how it feels. I get anxiety when I have to go to the grocery store. We heard about her mental breakdown through TMZ. They called me and wanted to know what my daughter was doing in the hospital with a nervous breakdown. She didn't want anything to do with me. I was scared she was gonna die. 
I remember that actually. Anybody saw what I saw in the state that she was in at the mental hospital, I remember that drama between her and her mom. Her. Psychosis can last from days to weeks to months to years to life. Okay, that's okay. My thoughts take over my mind often. It hurts when I think about my past. I want to know how to breathe again. Do I love my own self? How do I learn how to breathe my own breath? I can relate to her. I found out I have a diagnosis of bipolar disorder. Which does. I have the greatest friends and family, especially my mom and my stepdad, Brian. I shouldn't have treated them the way that I did sometimes. And then they know it wasn't me. So then when I wake up the next day, they tell me what happened, but they're like, look, we know that that's not you talking. We love you. We don't see anything different. I remember certain things that I did and it was really it was so mean. I keep saying thank you and I'm sorry. And they're always like, once we found found out everything, it made so much sense. We never, ever would give up on you. And they haven't when they pro probably should have. That's so beautiful, though. I don't know the things she did and the things she said, but when she said she did mean and said mean stuff to them as a mother or a stepdad to just swallow that must be so tough. But then still being supportive and being like, Selena, don't worry about it. We love you. When I first got out, I didn't know how I'd cope with my diagnosis. I needed to keep learning about it. I needed to take it day by day. That's the best way to heal kid, yourself. Oh, she she looks so much like, like her mother, it's crazy. You know, my mom was always teaching me not to be scared of life. Oh, that outfit kind of banging. My parents were separated when I was five. <gasps> Mine too, Selena. Hi, Daddy. My dad has a lot of regrets, and he would be like, I'm sorry, Mia, I just, I don't know how to talk to you. But he made me feel like I was the, like, prettiest young girl. I miss him a lot. Where is he But now? he knows that, so. I've always wondered about a father, because I only knew about Scott, I think, is her stepfather. I'm not sure if I got that right. Now it just makes me wonder, especially now that she says she misses him a lot, like, what... Every time I've come home, I've always just gone to the places that I remember. It's because I don't want to lose that part of me. Which is so important. So always remember where you're from. I need to see your driver's license if you're coming in the building, please. Never mind. I, I used to go here when I was younger. My name is Selena, so I didn't mean to bother you, but thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Okay, bye. So didn't let Selena in? I just used to come here and I wanted to no see. Worries. Are you a teacher here? I'm the registrar. Oh, got it. So. She was like, that's Selena Gomez. We're not gonna miss out on Selena Gomez. The person who was on a call with her must have probably felt so stupid. So Elementary was Sammy Rodriguez. Then it was Dylan Alvarado. Keith he Maupin. Eli was in there somewhere. Hmm. No, not necessarily, really. Yes. Okay. Eli watching this right now? <laughs> not one of them liked me back. They're like, fuck, I missed out. So bad. In school, she didn't really talk to many people. She had like her, you know, little two or three friends, but not a lot of boyfriends, if you know what I mean. Is that me? Hello. My name is Lily. My name is Lily. <laughs> this boy was so confused. He was like, who is that? I think especially when you're going through a crisis and you go back to where you grew up, it kind of helps you to calm down. You get this feeling of nostalgia and you're just grateful. Well, if you've accomplished as much as Selena, you're gonna be grateful. <laughs> If I'm depressed and I would go back to where I came from, I'd leave more depressed than I was before. But I guess as a very successful million dollar singer actress, it's fun. This was the same door. Is she just. Hi! Come on in. Do you mind? No. That is kind of weird, actually. Right here. Yes. <laughs> That's actually so funny. Knocking on a stranger's house. Hey, can I come in? I used to live here. Oh, the privileges of being a celebrity. Just imagining going back to one of my old apartments and be like, hi, can I come in? Because I used to live here. Can I just look around everywhere? My cat used to pee on those stairs. You still smell it. Stop this. I mean, I'm sorry, Cole, if you ever see this. Oh my gosh, I remember that. I remember saying that she had a crush on Cole Sprouse that is so iconic oh my gosh I love it I hope Cole sees this and reacts to it I remember she had a first kiss with Dylan on the sweet life of second Cody but this is so iconic Selena loves Cole <laughs> that is so funny that is just like me she's taking a photo I'm looking at myself in the mirror and that's when I found out I booked Barney. And there's a picture of me in here. This is one when she was six. I was seven years old when I got seven. my first job. Hardworking queen. Because I got to I just fell in love with these escape things. Then I never stopped. Mm, 
Oh, she's so cute. But eventually, after doing this for so long, I started to feel vain. This selfie of her. Iconic, so pretty, so beautiful. I feel like Lady Gaga. Amazing, gorgeous, beautiful, fantastic. I don't know any more words. And then when I started touring, it just got worse. After I got out of the last treatment center, I knew what made me happy was connection. That's what I meant when I said it would make you feel better if you get home finding a connection. That's what I actually meant. Priscilla, are you sure? No, don't knock on that. She had this beautiful dollhouse that I wanted so bad. I would always pick on her. She deserves it, probably. No, are you gonna... <laughs> that is so weird. I used to come here when Joyce lived here. Stand go, man. Yeah. Knocking on doors and being are like, you know the bitch I used sure? to hate used to live here. Can I just come sure. in and destroy the dollhouse? Is that Joyce? Is that, that's the dollhouse. I, don't, I can't get it, baby. Okay. And bro, I thought it was like this little girl. Okay. She had one sided beef with an old woman. I kind of get it. I got a kidney transplant two years ago. Seeing her like this, I can just imagine having a simple conversation with her. I can imagine myself in that chair and just talking to her. I feel like Selena is one of the easiest celebrities to have a conversation with. Yeah. What do you remember about me? Your dollhouse. I hope you have a great day. I'll be praying for you. I'll be praying for you is one of the greatest things somebody can say to you. I'm not even that religious, but it just hits. Just be who you are, Selena. Just stop trying. That's so hard though. No one cares about what you're doing. It's about who I am. Being okay with where I am. I am grateful for my family. I am grateful for my friends. I am grateful to be alive. I remember feeling those words that she wrote. Just be who you are. Nobody cares what you're doing. But it's so hard to figure out who you actually are. It takes a long time to be okay with where you are and to be okay with who you are. I don't feel good. It goes like, oh, I'm scary. What? Or nerves. Makes sense. She really has a great support system. It feels like they all care about her so much. She looks bomb. Girl. I don't know. Hello, Selena. It's so Look how this is so cute. This is a whole one piece outfit. Selena! <laughs> I love shady Selena. Selena and her shady face. I loved it. I thought he was into the Latina category or. No, he rather models. Iconic. Oh, <gasps> the photo of Justin. I don't remember his name. And Barbara Palman that she posted. You had to be there. You had to be on the timeline. That was so funny. Selena is so funny. I just want her back sometimes. I have juggled work and school and relationships for as long as I can remember. I was suffering mentally and emotionally. I sought support and the doctors were able to give me a clear diagnosis. So I began to face it head on. I am happier, I am healthier, and I'm in control of my emotions and thoughts more than I have ever been. So I'm very happy about that. <laughs> Thanks. I also struggle with my own thoughts and feelings at times, but this doesn't make me faulty. This does not make me weak. This does not make me less than. This makes me human. That was such a great speak. It was really beautiful and inspiring. She's such a great role model. It's hard for me and very emotional to talk about my own feelings and my own thoughts to my friends and family. But for her to do it in a, like a room full of people just takes so much strength. Then release it to the whole world. It's just amazing. I have so much respect for that. If it wasn't for someone that was able to put the word out there, it wouldn't make change happen. That's so true. I remember I was so ashamed for my mental health issues, but now more and more people I start talking about it and now it feels normal to say that I'm struggling mentally and it's fine because of people like Selena. Being honest that night helped. I texted Julia Michaels and Justin Tranter and said, I think I'm ready to just say I'm sad. We wrote the song in 45 minutes. I said, Lucy, you love me? The fastest song I've ever written. It's about more than just a lost love. No. It's me learning to choose myself. The song is okay. about knowing that you completely hey, lost you every part of who you are just to rediscover yourself you again. Go. Everything was so public. Selena, any comment on Justin Bieber's engagement? What's your favorite thing about Justin Bieber? Can I go to the get home, please? I felt haunted by a past relationship that no one wanted to let go of. But then I just moved past it and I wasn't afraid anymore. It makes me emotional. I feel like I had to go through the worst possible heartbreak ever and then just forgetting everything at the drop of the hand it was it was really confusing but i just think that needed to happen and ultimately it was the best thing 
that and, ever happened to me. And ultimately, so your message is... You didn't even hear me say it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh, sorry. You just say started talking. Oh, no, I can't sorry. say it anymore. Please, one more time. No. <laughs> All right, what do you want to ask me? I just... Was it the best thing that ever happened to <laughs> <laughs> So when do you want an album out? January. Do you want to um, perform at the AMAs yeah. this year? So if we do want to do that, Oof. we'll get into that right now. Are we going to get into it? We're going to get into it. I hadn't been on stage in over two years, Oof. and I still didn't know if I was ready. Oh, we're going to get into it. But what good is having a song if I was too scared to sing it? After the AMAs, I was going straight to Kenya. Raquel and I were going to visit students at a primary school and a college for young women, both schools that I helped raise the money to build in Kenya for the WE charity. This is her first performance in over two years, post all the Bieber drama and a short break from the biz. I always mention Justin. <laughs> Lena, I love you. I love you. Promise the world and I feel for Oh no, they're showing you! No. It sounded way worse though. After that disaster of a performance, I would hide myself in my bedroom too. When you say her name, don't you look stunned it's a blessing. When it rains here, it's considered a blessing. I consider rain a blessing. Love me some rain. I want to honor your drive for education. Look, she's mom, but we don't like her. I don't care if Selena does, I do not like her. What's your name? Diana. Diana? Beautiful. I loved our culture. It's so beautiful. It's so wholesome. Delina likes younger guys. <laughs> oh my god! Same! Those younger guys? But not where it's illegal. I draw the line at illegal stuff. I draw the line way before that. <laughs> One of my like goals in life is to create a bill. It is required to have a therapy sort of class in elementary school on to high school. What's holding you back from doing it? That I'm not capable, mm -hmm. you know? I'm not good enough. Yeah. It's the very thing that makes you feel that is why you can relate to others. So it's the exact reason why you are the perfect person. Hey, sweet. We also need to talk about like why you hate going home so much, why you don't want to turn on your phone. Like that's, you shouldn't feel that way. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, what can you implement in your life that makes you not anxious to turn on your phone, that makes you not sad to go home? You don't have to live your life constantly in that state. In a way that's just escaping reality. It's or like, is this reality? This is their reality. This is this can be reality a few times a year. That was actually very well spoken. No, I'm a London boy. Who is There's that? Paparazzi's blocking. Yeah, they're teaming up. If I was a celebrity, I would chump a paparazzi more often. They're gonna sue me. Who cares? Leave me the fuck alone. Belly. Oh, no, I just had a bad dream. I could not handle the fact that there's so many people around me 24 7. Waking up and there are only like 10 people in my room. Can you order some Thai? You want Thai right breakfast? now? Yeah. Let's make it happen. Maybe this is my self centered side talking and my Leo rising. Feeling like an assistant to my friends could not be my life. Being in Selena's position, yeah. Get away around could not be me. Point of the song is so that I really don't need to sit around and talk about boys. <laughs> I love her. Gomez and I'm playing the emoji game. But if you go, uh, so it's so 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 it's one DJ equals one word. Marshmallow. Fluffy. What are these questions? Marshmallow in one word? <laughs> and she looks so tired. She's like, fluffy. <laughs> Let's do the cover. That's just some weird ass question. Yeah! <laughs> it just seems like such a waste of time. It does! But can you imagine how those interviewers feel when they see this? They're like, those are some weird ass questions. And they're like, okay, girl, I'm sorry. You never feel them any other time. What in your life. is that? It's, it's like a combination like, of it's all the things. It's not even tired. It's no. like, yeah. you yeah. feel like you are just in an. Oh, she's EFT yeah, tapping. If I was her, I'd be like, please shut up. You're all here because of me. Please. Shut up. No, we I'd land. rather do what I'm doing. I'm not going to that. I have to do shoot a music video the next day. Nice. 
Just thought you would want to come with us. I would, yeah. but I'm not going to have yeah. one day to adjust. Do you think that I'm complaining about my job? Yeah, you sounded like you were. Not at all. Mm -hmm. Raquel was saying I need to get rest. The way that you said it's not what you said. So I, I was not complaining about work. I was mm -hmm. literally just complaining that it'd be nice if I get more sleep. I'm just waking up. What else do you want from me? Nothing. You don't owe her anything. She owes you her entire life. What is she doing? What are you working? Because you don't seem happy. Bro. I'm having fun. Good. I'm so happy you're having fun. Like, it doesn't seem like it. Who cares what it seemed like to you? Didn't know she was fun police. This woman! You're a singer. You're an actor. Is there any other heart you would like to try? Uh, she looks so tired. She said she was having fun, but she does not look like it. Okay. That's good for me. <laughs> wow. Thank you. <laughs> Felt like you really understood. All right, are we good? Fucking dumbest thing I've ever what happened? done. I'm done. I can't do that anymore. Do you know how much, how like cheap it makes me feel? She's asking me questions, like good ones. And then she didn't even pay attention to what I was saying. Yeah, because she doesn't care. She's just doing her job. I feel like a product. You literally are, honey. That's the industry you're in. You are a product that they're selling. It was like making me angry. You know what it is, is it made me feel like this. I've spent years, years of my stupid. life trying to not be that. I fucking look like a witch with the outfit doing it all like the wand again. Nah. And you're watching Disney Channel. I feel like you have to understand that what you're doing, you are a product. You're using each other, basically. You're using them to sell your product to the fans and to the world. And they're using you to get more views, get more clicks, get more likes. So it's kind of a use-use type of situation. If you don't want them to use you, then don't use them. My ultimate dream is that I am able to save people's lives through something, whether it's a song, music, Music, or if it's me just speaking about the troubles and the trials and tribulations that I had gone through. She does that every day. I remember when I was 12 and I was having one of the worst days of my life. I listened to Who Says and I yeah, was just girl. a happy girl. I was thankful to have Selena. She smiles when everyone is looking, but cries when she's alone. She hides because she's terrified to show herself. I want joy and hope, clean air where I can finally breathe. What has been it's not what will be. That is so true. Just because you experienced your past does not mean you have to repeat that. I want to start today with discussion over a deadly new virus. Oh, man. I forgot that happened in 2020. What's called coronavirus. Guess what, bitch? <laughs> coronavirus? 2020 was such a vibe, though. I was working during that time because I work at an online shop. So people needed me. I was as important as a nurse. We begin with breaking news about We Charity. The accusations against the We Charity made the work I had just planned to do with them impossible. It broke my heart because I had seen their good intentions, but now it was all so complicated. COVID-19 pandemic was beginning to cut us all off from friends and family, and the purpose I had found in Kenya felt like it had been taken away. Then just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, my lupus. Is this what it felt like before when you found out you had lupus? Like in the morning when I like wake up, I immediately start like crying because it hurts. Yeah. I think my past and my mistakes is what drives me into depression. Mm, like just looking at her toes. We could give you another dose of Rituxan. Rituxan is a treatment that they give you through an IV and it's about four hours. It's really hard on your system at first. I'm exhausted when I have to go to the dentist. So a life where you're just in the hospital so many times, having to go through this pain is just unimaginable for me. It must be so tiring. My shop? Oh, she's a beautiful room. Why am I here? Why am I alive? Clearly for something. Love my friends, love my family. I think I'm a great daughter. I think I'm a great friend, and that means a lot to me. But clearly, I'm still here to use whatever I have to help someone else. Part of my heart is still in Kenya. I felt guilty being there. Yes, it was great. Do I feel like I left an impact? Yes, but do I feel like I've done enough? No. But I feel like no matter what you do, no matter what you give, I, it's I'm just never enough. Mm. It's no boss. <laughs> Cute. Where's Coco? I miss him. Finish the sentences. Strangers who would describe me as only I know that I am. Strangers would describe you as like a warm, sort of all American girl. And I think people would be surprised and only you know maybe how complex you are. There's like a lot of layers to who you are. What would you say, Ash? Yeah, I think that's a great answer.
everything that has to do with Selena, I feel like this Ashley girl is always just like, yeah. I just have beef with this Ashley girl. You've never seen her in this documentary. Do you believe everyone has a calling? If so, do you think I've found mine? I think that you know what yours is, but you don't always choose to walk in it. Agreed. She just always looks so miserable. Raquel, she's chaotic as well, but at least she's there. And I feel like she's somehow a good friend to Selena. I feel like she knows her very well. But like Ashley, she's just there, not doing anything. <laughs> they just cut her out, you know, because they were like, you're not doing anything to make this any more interesting. So we're just gonna pretend like you are not here. No, I look like my mom. What kind of question is that, Selena? Marrying my stepdad, Brian. His name is Brian. Why do I think Scott? What kind of question was that? You look like your mom is your mom. Do you know who this is? Mm. It's Selena Gomez. Selena Selena. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would be me. When you're struggling with your mental health, the essential part of it is knowing what to do and recognizing that. I had to relearn things. I completely fell out of my mind. It was like, hey, you're not a bad person. You're not a gross person. You're not crazy. You're not any of this. But you're gonna have to deal with this. I know it's a lot, but this is the reality. It's gonna be there. I'm just making it my friend now. I think that I needed to go through that to be who I am and I'm gonna keep going through it. But I'm really happy. I'm at peace. I'm angry. I'm sad. I'm confident. I'm full of doubt. I'm a work in progress. I am enough. I am Selena. Those were beautiful words. Was that the end? It was. We're gonna listen to the song in a minute. Cool, cool. I went through a roller coaster of emotions. I just finished editing and I had to make a new video. Because after I finished it, I just, I was not making any sense. I just thought, you know what, let's just refilm it, whatever. I think it was a very great documentary. Especially the beginning reminded me of why I fell in love with her. I felt like 11 year old girl again. She's so kind and graceful and she just wants to make the world a better place. And you can feel that. Raquel was right. People would be surprised of how many different sides there were to her. The documentary really showed that but i feel like it could have been shown even more it was very much on the surface kind of level i would have just loved to know more about selena like why didn't selena want to have anything to do with her mother what happened it's just kind of a blur then you can see selena talk about her mother and her stepdad saying that she said mean stuff to them what kind of things if you make a documentary called my mind and me you would kind of dive deeper into the my mind and me part <laughs> I would have just loved to see what she did just to relate to Selena in that moment. She cries and it, to me it just kind of feels like I don't know how bad the things you're describing are because I don't get an example of that. Then her father, what happened to her father? For a moment I was like, is he dead? I'm so confused of their relationship. Then in general, I feel like a lot of the stuff was just skipped over. The revival tour, don't get me started on that. You could make a whole documentary just about the revival tour. I just would have loved to see how she handles being on tour, her undiagnosed bipolar disorder, her anxiety, her depression, the stress of the touring and everything. I would have loved to see um, a bit more of her life with her undiagnosed bipolar disorder. How did she live life? How did the people around her feel? How did her friends who were not like a daily part of her routine? Did they see any signs? How did they feel about it? It would have just been interesting to know. The whole making of Rare album was skipped. Like how did that happen? You didn't get to see any of it. Same goes for Rare Beauty. That is such a huge factor in her career now and it was just skipped over completely how did she handle her mental health her bipolar and her lupus alongside of making the album and also making rare beauty that would have been an interesting topic to dive in but in overall it was a great documentary she's an amazing woman she just has such an impact on the world but yeah let's cut to the past and listen to the song when I hear a part of my story, I tried to hide in the glory and sweep it under the table so you would never know. People look when they're passing and never check on the passenger, they just want the free show. Trying to fight something that my eyes can't see. Mm. It gets hard to breathe, but I wouldn't change my life. No, no. If somebody sees me like this, then they won't feel alone. Oh, that's beautiful. That makes me emotional. 
If this song would have come out two years ago, I would have cried my eyes out because that's exactly how I feel. I feel like a burden all the time. They're not the only one lost my mind and me and all of the crashing and burning and breaking unknown. She sounds beautiful. I love her. I love her so much. I love her so much. That it. That is so short. Made on iPad. Okay, Apple, get that promo. Oh, it's a beautiful song, though. It's a perfect fit for her documentary. If you want to know what her documentary is about, it's basically this whole song. That she doesn't know what's going on sometimes, but maybe if she shares it, then somebody feels a little less alone. And I think that's beautiful. I cannot express how much respect I have for this woman. I felt like I was back in my old room, 12 years old on Twitter, because this reminded me of why I loved her so much back in the day and why I loved the woman that she grew into. Yeah, my washing machine is going wild. I love Selena Gomez. Anyway, I hope you had fun. Like the video, subscribe if you want to, so we can have even more fun. Thank you for watching. If you stayed this long, good night and goodbye.